Hi, I'm Brian Chong from Syntax Technologies. In today's Buku Cloud Accounting Software Tutorial, I'll talk about transaction. Let's go to Buku. Then, we'll look at sales invoice. For other transactions, example, quotation, purchase, and so on, it's very similar with what I'm going to uh, show to you because you know how to key in one transaction you know how to key all because it's say the same way to key in let's go to sales let's go to invoice when you go to a particular transaction example invoice you'll see a list of that transaction this is the invoice listing of course you can search a particular transaction by filtering it on the date okay or the status or the payment type this is for invoice now, over invoice, instead of creating invoice, you can also create new credit note. So let's create one new invoice. Click on new invoice. Then first thing, of course, to select the customer, you can just type the customer name. Let's say I do Syntax Studio. Okay. Invoice number will become automatically. Then date, currency. And over here is the item or service part. Click on the plus sign. Then just type the item link. Let's say black pen. So you can see the account is automatically selected. You can change it if you want to. Then put in the quantity. Okay, let's say you want another item. Click on the plus sign again. Let's say this is a blue pen. Go in. Same thing, let's say you just want two. This is two ringgit. You can change the unit price. You can put in discount. Let's say you put 10, then put in a percentage sign. This become 10%. Without percentage sign, this become 10 ringgit. Okay. I don't want to put in the discount. Let's scroll down a bit. Over here is the payment terms. By default, this customer is a credit terms customer. You can click on the plus sign. Okay. You can see this is default to 14 days for this customer. You can see the due date and the amount is 100%. Just in case you want to separate the credit terms, you can click on the plus sign. Okay, for certain industries, let's say you, you have 20 days in 20% uh, uh, in the 14 days, let's say another 80% in another 60 days, then you can just put in the percentage accordingly. Else, it's 100% for the specific credit terms. You can put in some remarks and also upload a document that related to this particular transaction. The most interesting part is at the bottom, send email. So when this send email is ticked over here, the system will actually send this document to your customer. Of course, the email address need to predefine over the maintain customer side. Over here, you can save as ready or save as draft. Let's click on save as ready. What happened is the system will bring out the customer email and also the personalized personal message. You can edit the message over here or change the email address. You can save only, that means the system will not send the email or you can save and send. Let's click save and send and see what happened. Okay, the invoice is created. At the same time, Buku will actually send this invoice to your customer. Let's say this is how the customer will see it. It will receive the invoice from your company. You click in, you actually see that the email address will send out the invoice is not your company, but it's from Buku. So scroll down. This is your personalized message. If you want to view the invoice is click on view invoice. So this is the standard template. How the invoice look like. You can actually download or print the invoice. So this is how one particular transaction example invoice work in Buku. You can see the quotation is similar. Same thing, select customer, put in item, then save. So system work can also direct email the quotation. Let's go to payment. 
Same thing when you go to payment, it's a list of all the payments. It will actually show the status or so. You can view it or you can duplicate or print as the PDF or you can even void the payment. Over payment side, you can also do refund to customer. Let's do payment. Click on new payment, select the customer. Let's say it's the next video. Okay, so now this is the outstanding invoice and customer paid in full. Deposit, this is the debit side. Deposit into which bank account or cash. Let's say amount received is full, that means 104. Payment method, let's say this is online payment. The receipt number will automatically generate it. You can put in the remarks. Okay, let's say this is uh, online slip. Online slip, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can upload the slip. Okay, then let's say again, send email, call out the email address, and this. Personal message I did not predefine. You can just type thank you. Okay, save and send. Okay, same things at this point of time. Your customer will receive the receipt from you. Your personal message, and he can view or download the official receipt. So. With this function, you do not require to convert to PDF to attachment then email again. So the system automatically help you to do all these things. So let's go to purchase. So this is where you key in the supplier invoice, new bills, select your supplier. Okay, this is your supplier invoice number. So that's why you should follow and key in accordingly the date. Okay and the item, let's say you purchase the black pen, you can see the account is automatically preset, you can change it, what is the quantity, the price, so it automatically multiply up, okay, plus this is the credit terms, your supplier given to you, and save. So because this is a supplier invoice, that's why you don't need to email anything to your supplier, the supplier email the bills to you. Okay. So over here, same things. Instead of supplier invoice, you can key in the supplier credit note. This is the payment to your supplier. Also key in supplier refund. You can key in the purchase order over here. And if you have expenses, then you can key in the expenses. Okay. So this is all the expenses you have created. Then you can click new. Now, there's one very interesting features in um, Buku where you can actually drag a file, that means the receipt. Let's say that this is a grab and I put it as expenses. Okay. Or let's say this is a claim from your employees. You also can key in like this. You drag the document. And you can select the supplier and you can see that the system will automatically fill up for you okay by OCR the information from here to the information site and automatically fill up let's say grab of course you can key in manually you can amend it so how you want to pay the date also automatically trace down what is the reference number it automatically set as the default expenses account. You can change it accordingly. And you can see even the amount will automatically fill up for you. You can set it as a multiple mode or save as ready. Done. So next time, when you go to expenses, you go to that document or do, that particular expenses go to view. You can actually 
see the document that uploaded imagine you are an accountant you are an accountant how easy it is if your customer upload the file upload the receipt so you just do the checking instead of manually key in everything okay of course you can amend accordingly so this is how you do your expenses now then under bank of course there will be money in money out okay let's say you have others income instead of sales you can do in money in money out is let's say you pay out certain things okay fund transfer you can transfer from one account to another account okay then bank account this is your bank informations what you can do is you can deactivate it or you can go to new create a new bank account or go to let's say main bank go to view if there is any rec bank reconciliations okay or new this is where you can key in the bank reconciliation so currently you still need to do manual reconciliation okay as normal according to the bank statement you just put in the statement balance then you just record accordingly in future what we will have is called auto bank reconciliations so for all this bank you just need to upload the statement in pdf format then we are able to do the automatically bank reconciliation for you okay so for accounting there will be journal entry where you can key in the journal entry of course over here you need to know the debit credit okay so let's say you do a uh, cruise you do some uh, audit adjustment you do depreciations then you need to use the journal to key in so basically this is how you do transaction in buku cloud accounting system if you are interested in buku cloud accounting software or you have any questions regarding it you can contact us directly you may also direct sign up for a 30 days free trial through this link once again thank you for watching i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you mm -hmm.